Yo, what is going on, everybody? I'm excited right now. This was actually kind of unexpected. So this was actually available on the Xbox store. Uh, just released today. I watched the trailer and I was like, wow, I'm going to have to try this out. So I'm about to bring to you guys live commentary right now. And let's go through these uh, through this story together, you know, let's enjoy it. But uh, first off, I just want to say how much I am truly, truly blessed to have you guys here with me right now today. Um, if you're not a subscriber, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all the love. And trust me, I love making these gameplay videos. So go ahead and hit that like button. And please share with your friends and family. And if you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. All right, let's get it. I'm excited. Let's go. All right, so we just going to do the... Okay, just calibrate. Please calibrate your display. Adjust the brightness until the middle of the logo is barely visible and the left one is not visible. I don't see nothing. Let's get it. All right, we're going to go ahead and check out the audio here. All right, so this one's a tough one for me, guys, because I don't want to have no copyright issues coming back. So I'm going to go ahead and turn down the music. And it could be a good or bad thing, you know, because sometimes the music, you could really get a sense of the character's feelings, you know, um, especially if they're happy, sad, or sometimes with fear, you know, if you hear that dun 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 dun, you're like, oh shoot, I better I better start running. Something's about to happen, you know. But uh, it's all good though. So we're gonna turn it down, unless I hear otherwise, you know. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down just for copyright issues, um, sound effects, voice. We're gonna keep everything else up. Um, let's see, enhance sounds, specialize. Yeah, enhance it. Ah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, enhance it. Let's enhance it, you know. Um, all right, we're going to go ahead and apply. Uh, language subtitles. I'm going to go ahead and keep subtitles on for you guys. Let's see, display speaker name. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. All right. Usually when I play video games, I usually take subtitles off. But, you know, this is a walkthrough gameplay for y'all. And trust me, we, we're going to keep subtitles on, you know. So that way everybody could know what's going on as well. Uh, see, controls. Boom, boom, boom. We'll keep the vibration on so we get the feel of the game. Accessibility. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we good to go, y'all. Y'all ready to get this? I'm kind of interested to see how many uh, chapters they are. So well, I guess we don't know until we play. All right, y'all ready? Are y'all ready to dive in? Let's go. Tell us why. Here we go. Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? K-1, 
can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. All right, here we go. How about that opening scene, though? <laughs> hey, I don't know about y'all, but that opening scene was, was pretty lit. But, uh, all right, looks like we can see ourselves in a mirror, okay. Don't nod entertainment. Alright. Because you know some games you walk past the mirror and it's like. Um I see no reflection. But obviously we see. See our reflection there. I wonder if Tyler will even recognize me. Last picture I sent was from the bleaching my hair at home phase. Not the prettiest of my creations. But she weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. Dang. I could look at this artwork all day. All right, we're going to try to look at everything in the room here. I mean, that's the point of playing. I haven't practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. That's the, oh, so we got a hockey girl in the family. All right. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. Why would it be in here? I don't really have time to dig through this right now. 
One more season. What am I even going to do with myself when it's over? Get invested in the lives of real people? <laughs> y'all know how that be when y'all binge watching y'all favorite show. Oh, Ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally going to hate it. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Night watch, Alaska. Hey, you wanna freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. <laughs> and that might be fun, though. Not here. Okay, let's throw some chill. I need to bring this with me to Juno. Alright, let's see what else we got. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but it makes me happy just to look at the box. No, in my desk drawer, maybe? All right, so we supposed All to be looking, looking for keys right now. Still need to find those damn house keys. It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. But, um, so this must be her, must be their dad, All right. Michael and Tyler are so gonna hit it off. All right, this must be her boyfriend, I take it, or friend. All right, let's see. Time and I against any two. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No. I've already done that three times this morning. All right, let's go ahead and grab the keys. Oh. No, in my desk drawer, maybe? Yep, yep. Let's go ahead and grab them. Oh, come on. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. <laughs> Allison and Bobby. A and B. Check under the bed. Oh, right. I stashed them. There they go. So that's where you've been hiding. All right, before we take the keys, this take feels a like another lifetime. All right, grab the keys. And let's roll out. Roll out. Roll out. All right. I think I'm ready to go now. Yep. Let's skidoodle. awkward yeah she did uh seem kind of nervous huh can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time okay I'm pretty much done here I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off right. so we just gotta grab his goblin oh uh, gonna miss these dum-dums so he got the other goblin then Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. 
You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. <laughs> Throw up a Pulp Fiction one right next to that, too. Celebrate, educate, unite. Okay. Transvisibility March on June. Seems like uh, Tyler has a open mind, you know? Let's see. Bye, Herbert. Bye, Herbert. Oh, I thought we were taking him. We're not taking hey, him. little guy. Okay. You're going to be reunited with your sister soon. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. <sighs> Bummed I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. All right, did we check out everything? Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Alright, here's what I love about this game already. We're about to start making choices. We're gonna go with the people, because obviously the food probably wasn't the best. Honestly, the people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. 
Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. It's beautiful out here. Alright, don't know y'all did y'all. you? Y'all did y'all thing. Allison? Whoa. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Cause I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're gonna have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey. At least you missed the porcupine. <laughs> I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo, and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That, or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. Yo, drop a like if y'all want to be out on the boat right so, now. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Again? Sure. <laughs> I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. 
There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering, and you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Alright, so I'm going to accept it, because if you look at her right hand, it looks like she has the same ring, and we're twins, so why not? Fine. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. Did you hear that? Whoa! Oh, there's no place like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, tell me that didn't look like the Pacific Life commercial. Where the whale jumps out of the ocean. <laughs> hey, it's, yep. it's so weird being back on this boat. Crash. How are you? Yo, so, I here's a fun fact of Captain CB. I used to live in Alaska. I lived in a uh, Nat Nick. Uh, not not that long, but just there for work. And I also lived in Fairbanks, Alaska. Yeah. So that's a fun fact for y'all. Yeah. Yikes! Hey, I heard that. That's not going to happen. Hey, man, it's your truck. You do you. Okay. Same to you. Live and let live. Just a sticker. Enjoying the ride? I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clinkit, Haida. I haven't been home in five years. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. 
I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin? Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking if we're related, so I try to head it off of the pass. Oh. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. Hey, when everything else fails, <laughs> try doing what the captain suggested. I told you. <laughs> captain CB. So guess what, guys? This is what I'm about to tell you right now. Well, what I'm going to suggest is for you to go subscribe. Uh, and like the video and drop a comment and let's build up this community of nothing but positivity and love. There it is. Captain suggested. Did you say something? I'll see you around town. Oh, yep. Isn't hunting season almost over? Almost. Want to draw for one of the last hunts of the season. Whoa, look at that antique. You're not one of those odd sixes, old and boring folks, are you? Dang, Tyler all up in his truck. What's this sticker say? <laughs> That's funny. Hey, who are you on the phone with? Second player. <laughs> Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. Right. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. Come on, you don't know that. Doesn't hurt to try. I can see the harbor. We're almost there. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is nice. I love to just have a cabin right right off the lake. Wake up every morning. My Superman coffee mug. Pour me a cup of that JoJo. And chill. Go fishing too. Fish every day if I could. See what else we got to do here. I don't really want to have a conversation with him anymore. We'll examine the board. Hey, Allison. Can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Hey, uh, see, this was an A and B conversation. Okay. We're here. Shall we? Uh, Let's go. I didn't say nothing. I, you good? You good? Hey, old dude got up after I said that. Say like, what you say?
Wow. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. After you. All right. I guess this is. I guess we're up, fellas. I guess we're up, my fellow captains. I kind of want to see how far we could expand the boundaries before it stops us. So let's see what we could do. I always like. I love to do this during the during the video games to see how much of the open world they let you explore. So I see we got footsteps behind us in the snow. Okay, don't nod. Okay. So it looks like we got a lot of detail here. I like it, I like it. You really want to go out there? No, you're right. All right, so I guess this is something we'll probably do later. Let's see if we can hit the ice here. breathing room here I like it see how far we could go out this way cuz I know you guys are curious too right but the only thing is yo I don't see no bear spray on him like where's the bear spray you know what I'm just gonna turn back around that's what we gonna do cuz we don't have any bear spray so Gonna be smart. All right, let's stop that yawning. This stuff is contagious, bro. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, no bear spray. Stick to the trail. <laughs> All right. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not or kiss the planet goodbye. Ugh. All right. Go ahead and get in this bad boy. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remember this. Oh, you could have led with that, Allison. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah, we find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. <laughs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. All right, we go. We just gonna remove this. I guarantee you there's like a cross. You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. I guarantee you there's gonna be okay? a, a crawl space under here. Uh, if we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. Uh, uh, it's screwed in pretty good. 
We need a screwdriver. Alright. Try this door real quick. It probably locked too, so. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? <laughs> nope. I mean, nobody lives here. We could just break it, but I guess they're trying to keep their house intact. We can use the shovel. Nope. This shovel. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. We gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. <laughs> Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. Alright, you say there's a million ways in and out of this house. Let's check out the shed. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Hey, it's locked, all right. Use your key. Okay. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. She did not like us using her tools. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um... I'm feeling something strange. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing, you just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know. But I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did. But that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. It's that twin, that twin telepathy. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Yo, that is dope. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Yo, this is dope. I like it. It makes me wish so, I always had a twin now, you know? which one of you, you is know? hiding the key? Like, hmm? First of all, think about, like, all the pranks. All the pranks. Uh, Nothing and, here. And if we was ever on the same wavelength, oh, it would have been dope. Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. 
<laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Guess we just need this, right? Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Can we grab this too, just in case? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Let's go ahead and pry this thing open. Or unscrew. You sure you want to go in there? Rock this was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Oh, we would have did rock, paper, scissors for sure. The heck? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! <gasps> oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Ouch. Are you okay? What happened? <sighs> Just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. I, I think so. We'll figure it out together. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Yo, this is the dopest twin <laughs> twin telepy you could have. She said go left, but I want to explore. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. Ooh, we'll take that. This is why you explore video games. This is why you don't just stick to the path. This is why you sometimes you gotta go off the path in order to get back on the path because you might just find something on your way. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. But for real, kids stay on the path of the righteous. <laughs> but nah, that was uh... And left again after the goblins. She said left. You gonna grab this too? Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. Why did it make me turn it? I don't wanna see this elephant's butt. Let's see if we can find some more. Nope. Help. It was on the right. My bad. Let's see if we can find some more collectibles. Wait. That was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. Pink. It always had to be pink. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes. But a goblin never gives up their treasure. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. Lost treasure. Well, 
lost trash treasure. Past the treasure. Straight ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. What in the... The Mad Hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Before we go, is there any more treasure back here? Nope, that's the dead end. All right, let's go up. Let's get this thing popping. Before a spider get me. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Doesn't seem real. We are in the of course. Yep. No lights, no power. We are gonna go room by room. Alright, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hog. Marianne's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. Okay, that must be like the last room. Ooh. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good scrub and we'll be I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. Alright, so... Oh, we see the mirrors. All the mirrors work. You know what? Every video game, we got to make sure the mirrors work, okay? We got to make sure they're doing their job. And don't knob. You guys are doing you doing your job good, okay? Um, Sorry, I stumbled. I'm looking at the time right now. It looks like we're getting to our time. And uh, just to point out the dress of Tyler, if you guys do not know, which, you know, I'm putting all the pieces together that this is the trans character. Um, all I gotta say is hats off to Don't Knob Entertainment. It's gonna edit, cut, clip, make sure audio is good, and I'm gonna upload it right now because I want want you guys to see this right now. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like it. I love you guys. Peace and love.